50 years might seem like the blink of an eye to a Time Lord, but for the rest of us, what Doctor Who has so far clocked up is quite a record. The world's longest-running science fiction series now celebrating its half-century this year. Fans, as well as the film and television industry, have been paying tribute. The sky's end of Brady now reports. <laughs> There have been 11 incarnations of Doctor Who over the decades. And this very British mix of science fiction and fantasy has been winning over fans from episode one. People don't change like that, I mean, physically, just in a flash. I'm not people, Perry. I happen to be me. Colin Baker was the sixth Doctor. When it started, uh, back in 1963, the day after Kennedy was assassinated. Um, it was innovative television. It was something new and exciting and different. And people today say, oh, we used to love it because of the shaky sets. Well, that's a load of rubbish. They loved it because it was new. 790 individual episodes have aired since Doctor Who started in November 1963. That makes it the longest running science fiction series on TV and it has plenty of obsessed fans. Rob Hull has the world's largest collection of Daleks, 571 of them. This is the Doctor, President-elect of the High Council of Time Lords. Sylvester McCoy was the seventh Doctor, and he has his own theory about why the show remains so popular. I tried to achieve with the Doctor um, kind of a mixture of comedy and misery. <laughs> and this is me, misery. I think it's rather good mystery, don't you think? <laughs> they say there are only so many stories, you know, under the sun. And um, I think it's one of those stories that we love to hear, which is about someone coming from outside the world, someone coming from above, from up there, coming down and trying to save us. As, uh, and uh, especially as he's so human, because although he's an alien, he takes on the human form and he takes on a kind of a, uh, all the human foibles and failings that uh, w with him. We are wanderers in the fourth dimensions of space and time. The first Doctor was William Hartnell. Back then, the production had a lot less polish. In the early days, it was recorded almost as live in that there would have been very, very few cuts. Hence, fluffs and wobbles of furniture had to stay in because they didn't have the option to cut other bits in. The show's 50th birthday was marked by a special screening at the British Film Institute on London's South Bank. You've got me. What are you waiting for? Doctors will come and doctors will go, but it seems the viewing public's love of the Time Lord will endure. Enda Brady, Sky News. Aye, aye.